Okay, here we are. We're going to this time create a doc in our Google Drive. And again, to create a doc, we need to go to the create icon, click on the icon, and go to a document. That will then open up a document in a new tab. Here we can add a name to our document, so we'll call it uh, we'll test document. And you're OK. As you can see, um, there are qu some quite familiar icons and uh, that, that are available in the, in the document here. So if we start to uh, type in here, Okay, and you can see there we've got some minor errors. So again, we click on any of these and it will allow us to auto-correct and fix things up and do things uh, like most word processes. We can uh, arrange the uh, stuff. We can go in here. We can go in and change our heading to titles and other forms. So we can make it the title font, title case. Or we do have a range of fonts that are available there, plus we can import some more fonts and so forth. We've got the chance there to change the size of it. So we might change that to a, a different font there. We've got the usual standard stuff. We've got the chance to color our text stuff and so on and so on and so on. Change the text into things. We've got our line spacing. We've got the option to make it into a numbered list or bullet it increase or decrease indents uh, in pretty much the same sort of way as we do in other things. Now we can also change our text back to without formatting We're using the clear the formatting thing over here. We've got the option up here to do much the same sorts of things again too and we can change the things in here. Well here's our tools we've got the spelling thing we've also got research which will open up over here a chance to search for things so if we go in here and put bears in there we can click on bears and it will search through then a range of options for bears and things we can turn that one off if we wish to at any particular time uh, we've also got define so if we go in here highlight a word and click on define it will go through and define that particular word for us and so on and so on and so on uh, we can have the option here to translate to and if we wish to put a word count in we can put, put a word count in um, and a couple of other things as well now if we're wanting to put a table in it's fairly simple to put a table in we simply do very much like word is clicking like so and uh, we have our table in there right mouse click we can insert rows and columns and do all the other things that we normally do there are some restrictions on what we can do with some of these things merging cells is a bit tricky one of those things we just have problems with uh, we can change the table properties Doing. We can change the alignment of cells, we can indent, we can do a whole manner of other bits and pieces with our, with our table there. Um, we can also, if we wish to, insert a range of options in here. So if we're wanting to put an image in, uh, a drawing from other things, we can change and do, do other bits and pieces. If we need to at any particular time, we can insert page break and that will put the page break in pretty much like any other uh, word processor and so forth. Uh, we do have the option here too of um, taking the painter, clicking on the paint format, clicking on that and it will change the paint format really nicely. We can zoom in on the document 
and our standard um, edit bar is there as well too. Now there are a range of options too that you can also put into your um, documents. There are uh, things like Kaizena which is uh, an option that will allow you to add some voice comments. Um, Clipart, so if we go into search into Clipart there, um, it's an add-on that we can put in there and we actually have to uh, run the reset which is a little bit of a nuisance but that's okay it's come up there and then we can come in here and so we can go clicking and searching for a clip art maybe choosing that one there there's our banana so uh, I have to put the cursor in and we can put our banana in where the cursor was and there we have our banana uh, okay we can and we have the options there to wrap text around it and do other bits and pieces and that sort of stuff too now you'll notice uh, up here it's saying that all changes have been saved in Drive uh, that's because when we work with Drive um, we don't have to save it auto saves as we go along now uh, one of the other things with um, with most of the drive stuff is that if we come over here and we move down to this one here which says see revision history we open that and that opens up a little pane on the side here which shows what's being done now at the moment not much there but if we click on the show detailed revisions we can go back through the document and see what the document looked like at various times so it shows as our document builds up here and that now there are other options too as well if we go in here and we go and highlight something then we can add a comment against that particular thing uh, and ask uh, students or whoever to respond to that comment um, if we want to reply someone needs, needs to uh, come in here and click on this and uh, it is uh, sort and we can reply there like so once that uh, is um, completed and being resolved we can click resolve and it goes away and it otherwise appears normal uh, to bring it back we just simply have to click on the comments up here and if we wish to we can reopen that particular comment and there it is there like that uh, now once you've got your documents and you're working on them and uh, everything else um, it's useful if you work with other people now at the moment by default all your documents come in as private only you have access to them there is a link that can be shared with other people if you click on the change here you can see that there are a range of visibility options you can put it public on the web when anyone can find it and access it and do things with it you can do anyone with a link which means that you can share that link with uh, people and anybody who can find that link can come on or you can share it only with specific people now once you've chosen to do that then you also give people the, the chance to access it in a different number of different ways one is that they can edit one is that they can comment one is that they can view I often go to can edit and once you've done all of that you click save and you'll notice then that you are given the option again to invite people or send a link if you do that it's done you'll notice up here now that once you come to the share button it and mouse over it it will tell you who and what has got the uh, access to this particular thing uh, if we want to add some add a link in the document too that's fairly simple we just click on that one there and we find a link and put and paste it in there and click apply and that will put the link in there um, there are other options that we can put in there some things that we, we we might want to change and so forth we can we can use that input tools to do that okay so there we go a very quick run through 
of Google Documents.